Hi guys, this is Ask NG with AJ. You are watching an Empire. So today's a special video. We all know that after five days, it's gonna be J May 2019, the January exam. So as you have read the title, it says, can we get 40 plus marks in chemistry and how to learn 200 plus reactions in inorganic chemistry. So we are gonna discuss that in this episode. So the first thing related to score regarding chemistry is that if you work hard for at least a, a week, you work hard totally for chemistry, you can score assured 120 marks in 120 marks. But nobody does that because a 120 mark can't make you get into an NID or an IIT. So you will have to work hard uniformly in chemistry, physics and maths. So the thing comes to that, how to increase your score to a rate of 180 or 200 above. So the easiest method that I will be prescribing you is study more chemistry. Because in chemistry we can divide it into physical, inorganic and organic. As we all know, physical is all calculation and all and inorganic it's just by harding and organic it's logical thinking and all. So we come to inorganic first. Because inorganic chemistry is something which can be easy for you or difficult. It just depends that how much interested you are in the reactions. How to study inorganic chemistry? So studying inorganic chemistry is a difficult thing I guess because it's very hard to learn something which you haven't seen or you won't find any interest in like, like the oxidation reactions, redox reactions, like charge transfer and all there are a lot of reactions. So here yeah, what we are gonna do is in this span of 7 days to 8 days we are going to depend on short term memory so you will be saying short term memories won't help us at any situation but no please listen the thing is that if you study or watch something for 8 days continuously you will get by heart you will be by hearting it easily so the thing i would be prescribing you is a method which i named as make it one the method i am naming is make it one so i will explain what it is so you will have to do what is that you will have to study in organic chemistry when you wake up and when you go to bed at the night so but when why i am saying this timing is that when you wake up you are waking up with a clean zero memory so you fill up something it would be there till the end of the day and when you study it at the last moment of the day it will be for, for, there for till the next morning so by this process you can recycle the memory every time so that you can refresh everything regarding inorganic chemistry so by doing this for these eight days when you go to exam mode you can do it easily and the another thing regarding inorganic chemistry is that i would be prescribing 30 minutes for chemistry exam i know that technically there is 60 minutes for each subject physics chemistry and max but it is better to take only 30 minutes for chemistry and give the rest 30 minutes for the mathematics like it takes a lot of time to calculate and all so in the 30 minutes the greatest thing regarding inorganic chemistry is that you only take 10 or 20 seconds for reading the questions and if you know you can just bubble or you can just click the answer right away no need to solve anything no need to think logically whether this is right or wrong just by hearting so i know this is a wrong thing which i am saying like don't go to the conceptual part just read it by heart but what matters is marks at the end of the day when result come nobody asks whether how much lithium reacts and how have you seen this reacting nobody asks so the thing is that how to study so i'm giving you a tip now i'm going to show you how to study the make it one method so let's see you can study easily at the morning and night so that you can thoroughly make it up for the JE main exam. Now let's analyze some of the graphs regarding inorganic chemistry the, which plays a major role in chemistry. Like on the top corner I have displayed 2016 and then 2017 then 2015 then 2013. So in all these graphs we can see a great purple part that is the inorganic chemistry and you can see at least we can say that there is 25 to 35 percent inorganic chemistry in every year. So this statistics is clear that if you study inorganic chemistry very well you can clearly score more than 30 up to 50 I guess. 
so as we all know we will we, we all will be searching for je main previous year exam question papers there are a lot of sites which will just show ads for you and make you crazy about it like but i am suggesting you this one site like engineering dot carriers three sixty dot com. This is a very great site which I use for JE main question papers downloads. So you can get clear print and clarity images of diagrams and all with solutions also. So I prescribe this site for all our subscribers. So that's it for today. If you like the video, please click the subscribe button and like our video. If you liked it, comment. If you need any suggestion and all, share it to your friends. So let's make our channel. great thing till then bye and all the best to all students who are appearing for je main exam work hard believe in you the day is coming so this is the de day you should work hard and you will have to give your best what you have studied till the day you will be appearing for the exam so all the best to all of your viewers click the subscribe button don't forget that okay